David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Rehaere Ngovaje, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do. And I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way. So when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. There's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took uh, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people, and I've gotten to know a few online and here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on, uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertree University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're going to be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're going to see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings. We have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times as you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertrade University. City, the site of the International Traders Expo. Um, and I like to show people when I start trading live because it gets them to feel the look and feel of what it's like to be in that race. In the competition, our camera focuses on Puglisi, who, despite all the options available to modern day traders, is concentrating on common traditional stocks. 
I have. I already did two trades already. The session starts with Fausto fishing for active stocks. Soon, it will be the last half hour of the market day in New York, almost always the most active part of a short-term trader's day. I'm scanning through my top 20 list. I, I, my top 20 list is all percentage gainers and losers. I'm trying to find a stock that has some good volatility. Uh, I'm trying to find some stocks. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't, I don't care if they're going bankrupt or whatever. Fausto finds his first big move, United Airlines. He buys, and it dips. He sells and it dips even lower. You gotta know where those dominated brokerage firms are, you gotta know where they're buying it, you need to know where they're selling it, you need to know who the big boy in that stock is. A lot of people think it's just as easy as just, you know, let me just trade a brand name stock and, you know, because it's, you know, Intel or Google, you know, and that's something that you don't wanna do. All right, everybody, let me get a little chat back. Could everyone hear me loud and clear? Wanna do a quick audio check? How you doing, Hillary? Thanks for helping out. Uh, Gary, Rich. Good to see you, Peter. Just give me a little chat back if you guys could hear me loud and clear. KW, okay, I see you there. All right, well, welcome, guys. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed that quick little video. That was a couple of little videos regarding about uh, a little bit of, of some students of mine that have uh, taken some classes at Cybertrain University. Also, you saw a video of me doing some Traders Challenge events here in the New York uh, area. I've actually went around the world and did it. And uh, just want to give you a little bit of knowing what we do here, how long we've been around. But uh, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you guys how to make a full-time income as a part-time trader. Now, uh, I want to share my PowerPoint really quick with you. And by the way, just to let everybody know, this is live and it will be recorded. So as you register, if you want to go back and review it, you're more than happy to. So uh, let me just bring up my PowerPoint. All right, there we go. All right, hopefully everybody can see that fine. All right, perfect. Now, just tell you a little bit about what we're going to be learning and what we're going to be doing for the next hour. I'm going to talk about how to find the best stocks to trade. I'm also going to talk about how to find and complete, uh, and uh, you know, and complete with smart money. How to find that smart money? How it's working the market? How to developing a consistent trading plan? Which a lot of people have a problem. They go out there and they don't know how to find a stock, what platform to use, who's the right brokerage firm, or even what kind of you know, what kind of market I should trade. I'm going to also talk about how to read using level two, level three. Some people are like, oh, I, you know, don't even know what those things are when it comes to trading. And also how to turn trading into a serious business. Because listen, a lot of us want to trade and some of us it shouldn't, we shouldn't be trading. Not because that you can't. It's just that, you know, a lot of us may be trading different markets. We should. We shouldn't. And hopefully I'm going to educate you a little bit about more about what is trading, how it works. And then you after this event, you guys will make a decision if you want to do this as a career or not. Now, I've been teaching people for over 25 years just to let you know a little bit about Cybertrain University. Um, I basically am here for one reason, one reason only. I'm not here to give away a free uh, a free software. I'm not here to give you uh, a free computer. I'm not here to give you give you a free trip, a free iPad, a free this. If you're somebody that's looking for free stuff, well, let me just tell you this: you're in the wrong business. There is no free lunches in trading. There's no free tickets out there. There's no free trading, no free education. You know what? I'm still trying to find a free college. I have a 18 year old son. I'm getting hit with a seventy-two thousand dollar year bill. Fortunately, you know, they don't give free lunches, <laughs> all right? Um, you get what you pay for. So, so what I'm looking for, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm here to educate all of you guys how to trade, and then hopefully I will be able to recruit some of you to be one of my students so I could teach you how to trade the right way so we can make money together. You see, I, I'm not here to advise you. First, first of all, it's illegal. I can't do that. Uh, tell you what to buy and sell. I want to teach you how to figure and think for yourself. And how I learned this is because when I started, um, I was 22 years old. I'm actually 47 now. So, you know, I started uh, trading about 25 years ago. And before I was successful, a trader, I was actually a very successful loser. What does I mean? Because I blew up three accounts. And the reason for it, mainly because I was self-educated. 
I went out there and I figured, let me learn on my own. What, what I got to pay some? What I got to? Well, back then you couldn't pay anybody to teach you like today. Back then you had to work for somebody. And back then I didn't want, I didn't like the commute. I liked the luxury of my home. I loved the freedom, and I didn't like splitting the profits. You know, back then you had to be a prop trader. There was a lot of little different things. Well, let me tell you this. Finally. When I raised the white flag, I realized I should have never made my first trade. I should have never, ever went out there and uh, traded without proper education. Let me tell you, I didn't know that you could actually shadow brokerage firms. I didn't know there was something called Instanet. I didn't know there was something called a Workstation 2 machine. I didn't know that there were people actually making money consistently and working together. And um, And then... After two years doing that, I figure, you know what? It's time to move on and start, you know, my own trading room. So I'm, I, what I'm going to invite everybody to do is I'm going to invite everyone to, to visit the original online trading room. I know you see them, hundreds of them all over the place now, but I started the first one out there. I'm going to invite all of you guys to see not Fausto and how great I am and yeah, 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 great champion. That doesn't make you money, guys. What makes you money? is can I teach you how to trade? And the only way you're going to know that is you need to see the traders in the room. But before we do that, I want to educate everyone about what is trading, the philosophy of CTU, um, and basically how market makers trade. And you're going to realize at the end of this presentation, some of you are realizing you're trading blind. Some of you are going to realize that you basically um, are trading the wrong market. And maybe some of you might be like, wow, you know what? Maybe I should do something like that because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I like to share my picture of my families because we all do want to do this for our family, right? We're all, we all want to take care of ourselves. We want to have a better life. We want to be able to spend more time with our family. And, and I don't want to sell you on this, but there's no better job that's going to pay you the salary as being a trader. Now, to go out there, ladies and gentlemen, and to be part of the family CTU, which you could see there are people, all different types of people out there, grandmas, grandpas, retirees, border control people, uh, cowboys, uh, engineers, accountants, um, you know, just everyday people just like you because they all realize they have to learn how to trade. Now, question to everybody here. Now that you know a little bit about Cyber Trade University, I want to get to know a little bit about you, and I want to get into the detail of the philosophy behind trading. So the question is, is ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do a quick poll, and my poll question is going to come up. I want to know what kind of trader you guys are, okay? So are you a stock trader, an options trader, a futures trader, Forex? What kind of trader is everyone? And just let me know. You got the poll question up there. Always like to get to know everybody. All right, so we have a lot of stock traders, some futures, okay, good, good, good. Wow, we got a lot of investors here. Shockingly, I haven't seen it that high in a long time. All right, now, just to let everybody know, um, I'm actually a day trader, and the reason why I like to day trade, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen what day trading is all about, it's actually the most important um the most important type of trading before you could do anything else because it's what happens over the course of the day which trickles down into a swing trade and an investment, okay? You want to be a good options trader? Well, you damn well better be a good swing trader because how do you know what options trade to swing if you don't know what's happening, you know, uh, um, option if you don't know what's going on in the swing trade? And if you want to be a good swing trader and an options trader, you damn well better be a good stock, a day trader because it's what happens over the course of the day, which will trickle down to other things. Now, a lot of us also make this big mistake and had this, uh, this misconception that you think that trading's a full-time job. It's not a full-time job. It's actually a part-time job. How do I have the time to do a webinar right now in the middle of the day, right? I should be working full-time. No, most of our traders are done within the first hour of the open and the last hour of the close, which sounds like the dream job. Well. Right here, what you have, ladies and gentlemen, is a little, a little uh, of a, a uh, demonstration of when's the best time to trade and when's the worst time to trade. And uh, you can see right here that most of us traders, we trade at this most volatile times. Um, we do a lot of pre-market trading. I don't know if anyone ever done that before, but you'll see that we do do a lot of, a lot of pre-market trading. But most of the money's done pretty much right here, right from 9.30 to 10.30. 
11, you know, 1030 to 11, usually things backtrack, backtrack. And then, you know, we trade like probably the last 30 minutes of the close. You know, that's pretty much where is the best times to trade and the worst times to trade. Uh, so you really don't. And, and honestly, if you made your money in the morning, you really don't have to trade any more than that. Now, how can we make big profits in such a short time? Well, it all starts having the right tools. OK, now um, I have a question for everyone here. I want to do another question. Hold on. Another poll. I'm sorry. And my poll question is this. And we're going to share this. Do you have level three access? That's my question. Does everyone here have level three? And just say yes, no. If you don't know what it is, just say I'm not sure. If you know you have it, you obviously would say no. All right, so just looking at this coming through. Wow, there's a lot of you saying no. And you know what? Don't be embarrassed. No one's going to know who you are. No one's going to rat you out to your spouse. All right. I know a lot of you have watched videos on me on level three, and that's probably why you found out or maybe visit me on some of the events. But I'm going to tell you the real truth behind level three. Now, I know we all know there's such thing of level one, maybe even heard of level two. But what the hell is level three? Well, let me explain to you guys what we're looking at. Level one is basically telling you if, if like if I ask you what a quote on a stock is, uh, for example, like what's what's the quote on micro uh, on Micron? OK. Oh, it's trading at thirty one dollars and thirty seven cents. Great. No problem. How the hell does that help you? OK, that's where it's trading at. But who's buying it? Who's selling it? Is it going up? Is it going down? So level one doesn't really give you that information other than telling you P ratio, 52 week high, average volume. That to me, that's, that's just a waste. That's just, that's just window dressing. Okay. That really doesn't do anything for me. Now, level two, um, I don't know. Is anybody here at level two? A few of you? Okay. Level two basically gives you, um, it's basically been outdated since the 90s. Where were you, like 20 years ago now? That's how outdated this thing's been. Um, it basically, when it came out, it kind of just showed you who's buying it, who's selling it, selling it and at, at their best price. Now, the problem with level two, it doesn't give you all the data. First of all, how much does level two cost? Right? How much does level one cost? It's free, right? You even get it on the financial stations. What does level two cost? Looks like you're getting some good information there. It's free. Once again, that's all it's worth. Now, what is level, I mean, level two? What does level T three cost? Well, when I when I started, it was almost $2,000 a month. Now it's $15 a month. And by the way, I'm not here to sell level three, okay? I'm here to educate. I'm not here to sell anything to anybody here. I'm here just to educate you. So what's the difference between free and level and, and and 15 bucks okay well basically level three is going to give you and it's going to tell you um where you're going to get 20 to 50 times more data than level two is so let's put it this way if i was to tell you right now ladies and gentlemen that we could actually monitor and see where 70% of where the buyers and sellers are. Listen to me carefully. 70% of the buyers and sellers. What is that worth to you? What is it worth to you to see where all those buyers and sellers are? I mean, you can't see on level one or level two. But if I could told you, you know, you could see 70% of a stock that you're in. And meanwhile, you probably don't even like make the, make, even make a, a, a little tiny crumb on the floor for what, what trades on there. 70%, okay? A lot, right? You pay a lot for that. Well, guess what? Would you pay 15 bucks for it, right? So people are like, I guess, I, that doesn't sound like a lot, right? To see 70% of where the buyers are selling, to see where all the high-frequency trades are, to see where all the institutions are buying and selling, to see where all the brokerage firms are buying. Once again, this is why I don't, I don't talk about myself like some other people say, hey, look look how much money I made. Look how, look how many champions I want. Guys, it doesn't make you money. What you want to know is, okay, Fausto, you didn't move the market. Okay, You're just following them. Who are you following? That's what you need to understand. Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now. 
because you need to follow where these big boys are going. You need to know where they're buying, where they're selling. And that is what I want to prove to all of you today. Because if you want to be a successful trader, if you're not going to file the money, follow the money, then give the money to someone else to do it for you. Because the last thing you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you're really going to hurt yourself. And, you know, for doing this over 25 years, I've seen people blow up their accounts. And it's just, it's, it's the most saddest thing in the world. For what purpose? Ignorance, you know? So let me, let me tell you how simple trading could get because you're going to notice a lot of you guys make things more complicated than what it is. So what we're looking at right here is a sample of a level three quote. This actually is the NASDAQ's uh, level three, which they call total view. Okay. Um, if you go on my video on YouTube, I, I did a whole demonstration on it. So I'm going to do a little crash course of it right now for you. So there, so the bottom line is this, that there are multiple, what we call ECNs. ECNs um, stand for electronic communication network companies. I was actually one of the developers that worked with NASDAQ to build an ECN. Back then it used to be called Island. Uh, now, and I, I don't want to go about the whole history of how it started and you know why they came out and everything else. At the end of the day, just, just trust me on this. This is where all the orders are. By the way, if you ever watch the New York Stock Exchange on CNBC, you'll notice the picture doesn't look the same you know, 15, 20 years ago. There's nobody down there. Everything is electronic. Now, what are we looking for on level three? Well, the question to this, everyone, I have a question for everybody. Very important question. By the way, if you cannot answer this question right now, I recommend you to close your brokerage account right now, okay? How do stocks go up and down in the market? So could everyone answer that question? How do stocks or futures or options or Beanie Babies, you know, or a good a bottle of wine, or a nice fancy car, what drives things up and down? The value. Everybody, listen, just write S&D. Thanks, Steve, Wiener, everybody. Don't be embarrassed. If, am I wrong? Am I, just tell me, am I wrong? Buyers and sellers, supply and demand. Am I wrong? Fear and greed? Well, that's emotions. At the end of the day, it's all buyers and sellers, right? Okay, listen to me carefully because remember those two words because on the next several slides, you're about to witness how supply and demand works, how buying and selling works, okay? And I'm gonna repeat it over and over again. So remember those words, actually write it down on a piece of paper. Fausto told me the way things go up and down is supply and demand. Not that you don't know that already, but I want you to write that down because it, when you write things down, you, remember, you remind yourself uh, that sometimes you make things more complicated than what it is. So let's start off with a chart, okay? Um, a stock goes down, right? And we're looking at uh, uh, MYL, all right? Stock goes down. It went from $30 down to $26.20. Now, can anybody tell me why do stocks bounce? What makes a stock go up? Can everyone answer that? Why would a stock go up? I can tell you this. It wasn't because I said so. All right. Why did it go up? Buyers, right? Demand. Now, do you see a demand on a chart? Do you see buying on a chart? Right? No. You don't see anything of that. So how do we know and what made that stock bounce? Well, let's go hop over here on the level three. If you notice on the level three, right here on the buy orders, you'll notice right at 40, um, right here at $26, which is where the stock came down and went up. There's a 40, not, not I'm sorry, not even a 47,000 share buyer, a 7,000 at uh, 2610. A 47,000 share buyer at 26 and another 7,000 share buyer at 2590. And by the way, if it goes past that, there's no seven or 49,000 share more buyers. Right there is where you have your significant 
amount of orders trying to be bought. So that probably would explain why the stock went from 40, uh, from 26 right back up to close to $27 in a matter of an hour. Not bad. Here's another example. Stock has got a beautiful trend going from 1880 in about an hour. Look, it went to 20 bucks, right? Beautiful. But after it hit $20 at 10 o'clock this morning at 11, for the next several hours, it had such a tough time breaking $20. So I'm going to ask you the same question. What was preventing the stock from going higher? Was it the five candlesticks? Was it Mr. Fibonacci? What stops a stock from going higher? Well, exactly. It's obviously a resistance level, but what makes it at the end of the day? What did I tell you to write down? Stocks go up due to supply and demand. So there must have been a supply out there. Somebody was selling it. Well, when you look over here on the level three, you'll notice that there are sellers all the way down from 1984. But when you get close to 20, there's a 83,000 share seller on level three. Now, ask yourself a question, guys. How many times have you been in a stock? And you hit a resistance and didn't know why, because other things told you was going up. Well, did you know that there was a big block order out there, which is what we call iceberg orders? Think about it. How much smarter and better decisions and better game plan if you were able to see that 83,000 share seller out there? And you could sit there and you're like, oh, you know what? And then after time passes by, you could say, oh, but it's a triple top. Um, oh, we, you know, it's it's got uh, the volume died out. Oh, it was lunchtime. Listen, I don't care what you say. At the end of the day, there's somebody selling a big block order out there. So you could you could sit there and make up any illusion, or you could tell yourself any story that will convince you know convince you to make you look sound good. At the end of the day, it's a big seller out there. I, that's what it comes down to. Now, how do I how did I learn this? Now, please understand something, guys. I'm not your typical, you know, trader and, you know, figured it out, you know, been doing it for years. I was trained by the best traders in the world. Why? Because I live here in New York. New York is known to be the financial capital of the world. OK, listen, you want to learn how to drill for oil? Go to Texas. You want to learn how to make movies? You go to California. You want to learn how to cook good food? You go to Italy. OK, you want to learn about the stock market? You got to be here in New York. Or if you want to learn about options, you know, people in Chicago know what they're doing because that's where that's where it all started. So when it comes to trading, guys, the, what I'm showing you is what I was taught when I first took my job. And I sat here just like you. And I'm like, why would anybody not have this data? Like, why would anybody be that dumb not to follow that 87? That Like, first of all, I didn't even know that even existed. So why would anybody do that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because when I started 25 years ago, to get that data cost $2,000 a month. Now, you know, they lo the rate is so cheap. It's like 15 bucks. It's like, and people still wouldn't buy it. That's, that's the amazing part of it. So listen, I have so much more to tell you. Um, but I want you guys to understand how do things go up and go down, supply and demand. Let's start off with this stock right here. Looking at this stock, do you think the stock is going up or going down? Really quick, guys, what do you think? Up or down? Looking at this chart. Because now we're going to go back to what most people do, the biggest mistake that people do. Let me turn off my uh, webcam because you're going to see some things. Who knows, Wiener? See, what we, can I ask you a question, Wiener? Why would you say that? What do you mean, who knows? I don't know what that means, who, you, who knows. Look at the – what does it look like it's doing? Is it going up or is it going down? 
It's going down, right? Everyone's saying it's going down. Let's not. Right. That's the past. And you know what? Everybody's always looking what happened in the past. So how do we predict the future? Well, what happens when you have a 21,000 share buyer when everyone else is showing, I'm buying 400, I'm buying 700, I'm buying 1,000, I'm buying 300? What happens when you get 15 cents lower and a 20,000 one, and you get a bump into a 21,000 share buyer? What do you think in theory should, is going to probably happen when it gets to 2650? Exactly. Because here's a stock symbol IQ we traded. And look what happened when the stock tanked from 29 all the way down to 2650. It went right back up to 2750. Several hours later, hit, you know, went to 11, boom, right, right back up to 2750. You could have just constantly just watched this guy, knowing he was out there, and just follow his lead. I mean, can I ask everyone a dumb question? Does that seem complicated? Does that seem hard to just figure? I mean, if you could add and know what, you know, knowing that 21,000 is a bigger number than 200 shares. I mean, my, my, my nine-year-old knows that, okay? What more do you need? What more do you need? Now, let's do the opposite. Here's a stock that we were trading um, just yesterday, actually. Everybody saw what happened to Weight Watchers? How do you find the iceberg orders, Kurt? Well, Kurt, like I said, you need level three quotes. And at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite all of you guys to come in my trading room so you could see it live for a whole week. You see, everybody, you know, the, the problem about doing these webinars, and I know a lot of you have done several of them probably. A lot of you guys look at this and you're like, you know, anyone could make a nice PowerPoint. You know what I mean? Anybody could like cherry pick, but wouldn't it be great to see if you could practice what you preach? And I'm going to invite all of you guys to see it. Yes, Kurt, the matrix actually is level three. And I actually, um, TradeStation um, actually sponsors us. They endorse Cyber Trading University. I do events on them all the time, which by the way, um, let me just to give, before I jump ahead, I want to advise everyone a little bit about that, about TradeStation. Um, if your guy's going to go out there and and we all know we need to be educated, okay? And you all know there's a lot of, you know, a lot of scammers and crap out there and people just want to sell you their program and make money on you in training. And I can't talk to, I can't talk, um, not bad about those people, but I can't answer for them, okay? But what I can answer for CyberTree University is this. If you really want to learn from somebody reputable, Regardless of doing your homework and what you read on the internet, make sure, because there's a lot of people write fake stuff out there, make sure the brokerage firm is being, I mean, the school that you're using is being endorsed by a brokerage firm. Like we're being endorsed by Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade, um, TradeStation, you know, these brokerage firms have a lot to lose. Trust me, we're, schools are people are, that talk are a dime a dozen. They could they could be fined millions and millions of dollars from someone to say something very stupid. So, um, you know, like you like you just mentioned, TradeStation. Believe me, they do their homework, and you know they, they you know and they want to make sure that they have somebody that's reputable that represents them. So, you know, once again, not to get off the subject. But uh, I think that's one of the biggest things you guys got to focus on when you really – listen, we all need a mentor, right? Because it's just a lot cheaper to just find someone to help you read the, read the, the lingo than trying to figure out on your own. Uh, like I said, you think, you think a ticket charge expensive, try, try holding a position overnight like WTW and see how that works out for you. But you also want to make sure that you're dealing with a reputable person. And there's only one way to find if they're very reputable. It's not just – you know, seeing stars on, um, you know, on sometimes these fake websites, uh, but making sure they're being endorsed. Now, going back to this stock, where are traders selling WTW? Can everyone answer that? Where do you guys think? Exactly. Sellers are located on the offer. When you work your way on the bottom right, you notice that there is a 123,000 share seller. 
That's right. 123,000 share seller at 20 bucks. Listen, you got, look at all these sellers, 1,900, 100, 140, 8,000, 123,000. That's a lot of damn shares. Okay. That is a lot of shares. Hell of a lot more than you probably would trade in one position. Well, did you need a chart to tell you that? Right? Did you need a chart to tell you that? I try, Kurt. Iceberg excited. Exactly. Iceberg excited. Now, this is where things get a little bit. Um, they say that they're fake buyers and sellers on level two. Same for level three. Judith, that you know what? That's a great question. And my question to you is this. Who trained you? And who told you that? Because, Judith, at the end of this presentation, this is what I like to do. I want you to join my trading room, and we'll, um, I'll show you a, a, an order like that, and we'll take your money, and we'll execute that guy for 123000 and you tell me how fake that guy is, all right? So hopefully you have enough money in your account to trade that, and we'll see how fake it is, okay? Uh, don't remember everyone just heard it before. Well, once again, you know what? I also heard that there was such thing of unicorns and there's money at the end of the rainbow. I read it in books all the time. I, I still haven't found it yet, but I read about it, you know, but I never seen one. I read about it. You know, I heard about it, but I never seen one. Well, guess what? Here's your opportunity to actually see it. OK, so I, I, Judy, you know what? It's every time I do this event, everyone says the same thing. I always get one or two people that always bring it up. They're fake orders and that. And I'm like, you know what? I'll, I'll improve it to you, Judith. You tell me a brokerage firm that will allow you to put a fake order out there. You know? Chris says, I've been uh, using level three for a couple of days ago on NASDAQ.com and uh, for 15 a month and this watch is amazing. I'm glad, Chris, you know, listen, but you know what? I'd rather you, you go in my trading room so I can actually see you, show you how it even works at a different level, you know? Listen, I, I could tell you where the best place, the best brokerage firm, but if, you know, I could tell you the best car you could win a race with, but if you don't know how to drive, you're wasting your time. Um, now, to get back to Judith's question, okay, now the question is this, what, what, how do we know that, listen, could the stock break through 20, right? I mean, that's a pretty substantial order, right? But what happens if somebody buys that 123,000 shares, guys, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen if somebody buys those shares? Do you think it's going to go up or go down? I mean, why would you buy 123,000 shares? You know, knowing like, wow, I mean, that's a big order. Why would you buy it? Well, the reason why you would buy it, you know, and thinking it's a resistance levels might lead to something else, might lead for um, it to go to go higher. Wait, let me take a step back. Oh, went to the wrong one. May, might go higher. But in that case, he didn't get executed. He didn't get executed in this situation. All right. Now, here is the million dollar question. Did you need an indicator to tell you that, ladies and gentlemen? Did you need a Bolger band? Did you need a MACD? Did you need a volume chart to tell you that? Because that's what everybody's been learning. Do you know what the problem with indicators are? They're laggers. Okay? You want to be a lagger or you want to be a leader? This is what happens in the past. It's not always indicative of the future. And the problem with indicators is they're always right. But sometimes they're not because by the time you figure it out, yeah, pick this direction. But, you know, when I climb up a ladder, right? I don't look down, okay? I don't look down following an indicator. I look up to know where the ceiling is because I want to know where that ceiling is before I hit it. I don't need an indicator to tell me where the ceiling is. Chris, you need those confirmations, but listen to me carefully. By the time that confirmation kicked in, it's too late and you're chasing. 
Now, here at Cyber Trade University, we came up with this word called iceberg orders. I came up with that word because we all know it's not what's above the water, it's what's at the bottom of the water, and it didn't really work too well for the Titanic, all right? The most the unsinkable ship. And that's actually where how I got the name of iceberg orders. So here at Cyber Trade University, we, we teach you how to find iceberg orders, and we kind of work together like a team trading together. Um, because if you don't see them, <laughs> you can have a serious problem. Now, the next question people are asking, I want to get back about those fake orders because, you know, sometimes you get people like, you know, uh, that ask about those fake orders. Let me talk about them. How do we know they're fake? Well, are you guys using something called time and sales? Anybody use time and sales? Jeff, regarding about futures, let me kind of answer futures a little bit. I personally do not trade futures, okay? Um, I, I'm not a jack of all trades. I know how futures work. I trade them before. I personally don't like it. Um, it's just not my thing, okay? Now, if you want to learn about futures, then I only know about two or three people that I would recommend um, regarding futures, okay? So if you send me an email, you know, I'll be happy to uh, recommend them to you. But um, regarding about who is a good futures instructor, a good a futures mentor. But like, if you listen to me, what I said earlier, um, if you're finding a good futures or a stock uh, options trader, a mentor or a swing mentor, all the most important thing that you have to remember is do your homework and make sure they're being endorsed by a brokerage firm. Most important thing, ladies and gentlemen. Always remember that. Listen, there are some really good marketers out there. I mean, I see, I see some YouTube videos. Some guys got 5 million, 10 million views, and then I'm not being endorsed by anybody, right? Why would not some brokerage firm wouldn't, wouldn't tap into that market of a guy that's got a big following? Well, because they don't want to do business with them. So just be, that's my, uh, I want you to guys be very careful of that. Now let's get back to time and sales. How do we know they're fake orders? Well, Time and sales is what's going to give us that confirmation of the transaction. How many of you guys are using time and sales? I have a lot of people don't use them because they said it moves too damn fast. And you know what I tell them? It's moving fast because you're in the wrong damn stock. That's why you're trading a fast stock. There are 25,000 stocks out there. You can't trade every single one of them. So let's go back to WTW. All right. WTW, you could see right here. Had a big, big run up, right? It hit the resistance of, of the, of the seller out there of 123,000. It came right back down, right? But nothing goes down forever. And when it went back to 20, the guy got executed, broke through to 20, and now went to 2160. And look at the time. And how do we know that? Look at the time in sales. Look at all the transactions. Green, 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 green. Green means that the sellers are getting executed. It takes two to tango. Right there is a couple of our fellow students uh, making doom pretty well. Fernando made about 50 cents. Ben made, you know, 55 cents. Chris B out at, at Weight Watchers um, at 60 cents. And meanwhile, some of you are probably like, wait a minute, didn't Weight Watchers get crushed yesterday? Wasn't this stock a hundred dollar stock about a couple of months ago? Didn't it oh, didn't it open down like 10 points? Yeah. You ever heard of bottom fishing? You know? Little little strategy about what we do in trading. Um, Leslie, how do you find the endorsements, Leslie? Uh, you know what? Ask them. Ask the brokerage firm, you know, who would they recommend for a school? And they usually you'll see them um, showcasing them on their on their websites. Like I'm being showcased on, you know, Thinkorswim, um, uh, TradeStation, you know, all these big brokerage firms. I was on Schwab, you know, you should be able, that's how you find out. Now, um, let's look at this example right here. What do you guys think the stock is doing looking at time and sales? What do you guys think? Well, a lot of reds, right? I don't know. Do you need an indicator to tell you that? Red, 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 red. Can't short it, right? Stock goes from 810 to 760. I don't know. Buy 1,000 shares. 
make yourself 25 cents like some of these traders did in 15 minutes, $250 a day in less than 30 minutes. Do that every day. There's a $50,000 salary. Who doesn't want that job? So when it, comes to, when it comes to trading, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many styles of trading. But at the end of the day, all you have to do is follow the money. That's it. You know, there are dark pools out there and, you know, all these things that are out there. You know, you should know a little bit about everything, but you can't trade everything. And that's why people get themselves in trouble. You see, here at Cyber Trading University, our goal is that we're looking to trade with you, not against you. You know what my job is to do? My job is to teach you how to stop losing money. The winners take care of themselves. Most people's problems, they don't know how to take a loss. They don't know what a loss is and what, how much damage it could do. You know, but everybody wants to trade. Everybody wants to trade. And everybody doesn't realize that it doesn't take that much money to have a very profitable career in trading. Because that's why you're here. Now, at Cyber Trading University, the way, and I know uh, the way we actually work with our traders is that, you know, I used to travel around the world. And I mean, I don't know if anybody here owned a business before, but, you know, I didn't like traveling. It's, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I just like spending more time with my family. You know, I like living in a suitcase. I've done it. It was fun after a while. It got pretty boring and, and tiring. So I started um, here at Cyber Tree University. I, I was actually one of the pioneers who started the webinar technology over 20 years ago. Um, and, you know, here what we do at Cyber Tree University is we, we teach people all over the world and we're trading together and we're talking together. And we're just a, we're, we're a community of traders that are all fighting for the same thing and that is making money okay together not against you and you know and we're very very selective who we let in this room i mean listen we get hundreds of people that register a week to join our trading room and you'll be shocked that 80 to 90 percent of you technically really don't qualify it's not a bad thing because trust me the cheapest trade you could do is to see what the facts are the reason why people fail is because they want you know they're you know they just don't get the right education with somebody they have a bad taste in their mouth or they just want to you know want to be cheap and try to say hey let me just try it see how it works and go from there here at cyber Training university we're going to talk to you we're going to we're going to you know, people are shocked that someone actually answers the phone, you know, and people, are, you know, listen, people are shocked that I even talked to them. Listen, I, I, I traveled around the world. I hate seeing people lose money. You know, you'll see more negativity about day trading on the Internet than positive. And obviously, you know, I look at it as dieting, right? That's probably one of the biggest businesses in the world. People, everybody wants to lose weight, right? Everybody's trying to lose weight. Well, how many of you actually went out there and got a, a personal trainer and paid him 100 to $500 an hour to teach you how to do it and you went to a nutritionist? Probably 99% of you haven't. 1% have, you know? And you know what? Yeah, there's good ones, there's bad ones. But overall, when you watch a movie like The Biggest Loser, the show on TV, and like, my God, the guy was 400 pounds. He's down to 150. How did he do that? You know, it you've got to be committed to it. But not even just being committed, you want to surround yourself with great traders. Okay, now Chris has a great question. Why do you not leverage yourself in trading options? Chris, don't take this the wrong way. I hate options. I despise them. And you know why? Not that you can't make money with them. People trade them for the wrong reason. That's a poor man playing a rich man's game. You know who makes money in options? The guy that sells the options. Why do you need leverage? What do you need leverage for? You couldn't trade, you couldn't trade um, Weight Watchers and you know, just get in and out with a very tight spread and very cheap ticket charge? What's the leverage for? 
you know, I was talking to somebody the other day and he um, he trades options. I don't know why he's got 400,000 in the market. He said, it goes fast. I don't know what you're talking about. I made $200,000 trading options in three months. I'm like, oh, wow, congratulations. Call me back in three months. Guess what? Not only did he lose the 200000 but he's, he's, he only has $100,000 left in his account. Okay? So you don't need a lot of money to trade. And people always go to options thinking, well, you don't have a lot of money to trade. That's why we trade Forex. That's why you trade options. No, you trade options because of leverage. The, the way you trade options or swing trading is that if you date, like, for example, we're, we're date, we were day trading Weight Watchers, right? And you're watching what's happening over the day. And you're like, wow, this thing's going up. It's great. Well, you know what? Maybe it's a swing trade. You know what? looks pretty good. Actually, we did it with PCG, okay? PCG, that's the company that got destroyed um, with the uh, with the uh, uh, the fires in California. That was the utility company. Stock went from 55 down to 8 bucks. Actually, $6. I apologize. In less than two months. So stock started going up. So we were day trading. We were doing great. And then what ended up led up to what would end up happening after that? Um, people said, you know what? Maybe it's a good swing trade. And then people said, you know what? This might be a good leap trade. You know, I don't want to tie up my capital because I still got a day trade, but maybe I'll do an option and 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 take a take a long shot. But to try to go out there and do it all day, guys, that, that that's a poor man playing a rich man's game. You got to be a good stock trader first before you can become a good um anything else. Uh, you better pick the, uh, the rose stocks you need more money than an option to trade a stock. Uh, the good stocks usually have options and options can make you much more money in a day. You might take a week. Well, listen, Bradford, you, I, you know what? You might be right, but this is what I'll do for you. Why don't I just show you what's moving, what's happening with the stock. When you come into the room, watch us what we trade. Okay. And then you can go out there and look for an options trade. You know, there's a lot of stocks that moved out there. Sometimes you don't have to trade the option. Sometimes you can just trade the stock and call it a day. Because, you know, listen, everybody's trying to take shortcuts, guys. But listen, there's no such thing as shortcuts in trading. All right. It, you know, I'm going to go back to a diet, right? It's like, oh, why do I have to go to the gym? I'll just take a pill. All right, go. Let me know how that works out for you. <laughs> um, Alan, we trade daily every single day from 8 o'clock in the morning to 4.30 in the afternoon trading after hours. And you're going to see it with your own eyes. Okay? And you're all going to be invited to be there. Because what we're going to do is going to show you how to keep things, uh, which we call the KISS method. Keep it super simple. Listen, every one of you should learn a little about all the markets. OK, if you love options, then I'm going to tell you, you're going you're to love stock trading. If you love swing trading, you're going to love day trading. If you love futures and Forex, listen, I had somebody that spent thousands and tens of thousands of dollars on futures trading. And he's like, you know what? I really couldn't get it. And let, let me put it this way. If you're trading a market right now, if it's Forex, options, swing trading, day trading, if you're not making money within the within at least a minimum after two months, if you're not seeing progress, if you don't have any skin in the game and you're not and you're not trading, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. OK. If you are on a strict diet for one week, you'll see results if you follow the diet strictly. And if you're trading for a month. And you're not seeing that you're profitable, you're wasting your money. You're wasting your time. Time to move on to the next project. It's what it is. Now, the potential money of income that you can make, guys. Thousand shares, 50 lousy cents is 500 a day, 20 average trading days in a month. You're talking about a six figure salary. Who here doesn't want that job? You know you want that job. But you don't, so, but you ever thought about that's all you need to make? We see stocks move dollars, 20, 50 cents. It's all you're looking for. So before we um, end up, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to understand something very important. 
every single one of you are going to need a mentor. And you might need more than one. Because sometimes you might find somebody and you might not say, eh, you know, he really wasn't the guy for me. But you made the investment. And you don't have to spend a lot of money, guys. You know, in the beginning, you might not need to. You know, you're going out there and you're trying things out. You sample a couple of people. You know, you're going to – um you, you got to keep trying other people. Like right here, this is basically a one-hour event. I can't teach you how to make money in an hour. I basically just showed you how blind you, some of you guys have been trading because 80% of you, 90% of you don't have level three. Imagine now you could see it actually go to work and like, oh, my God, for the extra $15, I actually could see 70% of the value. Why didn't the other mentor ta tell me that? Well, remember, number one, you got to remember who taught you. Who endorses them, you know, and, you know, and, and, and make the judgment. But do it right the first time, guys, because you'll realize you'll spend more time with your family. You, you, you realize the greatest job in the world. Do things you always want to do in life because you could do this anywhere in the world. That's what. Listen, how many of you guys are on Social Security? I, a lot of our traders are retirees. You think they want to think they're going to be able to live on that? On a pension? You want to build on it. You don't want to live off it. Believe me, it goes like that, but you got to be patient. So this is what I'm doing, everyone. I want to invite every one of you to come and join the original trading room that I started 25 years ago. And this, this is what you have to look at. Don't look at me, okay? This is not Fausto, rah, 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 how much? Oh, look, Fausto made $10,000, $3,000. Oh, rah, rah, I, I, I lost uh, $2, but I made $3,000. Guys, that's not the ego. I don't have an ego here. What you need to see is just because I'm a good trader, it doesn't mean I'm a good teacher. So what you need to see is you need to go in my trading room and you need to see the students that we train and see if they make money. See how they think for themselves. Okay, see how they work within themselves. And like, wow, look at this guy. Look at this guy, Ken. He made he made 70 cents on Crohn's. How did he do that? You know, or or, or the 27 cents on a thousand shares shorting a CNDT. How did he do it? Who what is he doing? That's not Fausto. How did he figure it out? That's what you need to figure out. So you want to know why all these chat rooms are opening up that people are inviting you? Well, come to the original one and I'll show you why that is. And then you'll see why. Cyber Trading University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. And we're pretty damn proud to say that. And that is who you have to trust because these guys have more to lose than me, you, uh, than, than, than me uh, getting in trouble. They could get fined millions of dollars. They would never put Fausto and Cyber Trading University in front of their audience if they thought that their traders were losing money. And that's something very important you got to remember, too. So this is what I'm asking for, guys, because we're going to wrap up right here. I need to know if you're a real person, okay? I'm not here to hit you with a very expensive program like most people do, okay? I am just need to know if you're a real person because we don't invite anybody in our trading room. You know, we get, we get people that steal our ideas and whatever. So, and plus you don't want to be in a room with free people anyway. So we want, we're looking for $9, okay? $9 is going to get you this. You're going to get one week in our live professional online trading room, which is going to teach you how to pre-market. You're going to see level three. You're going to see, you're going to see hundreds of traders in there thinking for themselves. You're going to get your own daily market meetings every day. You're going to get afternoon and watch lists. You're going to get your own personal education advisor. For nine bucks, how, how, why would somebody do that? You'll see why. Because I'm here to teach you guys so I can make money with you. I'm looking for people I could teach that are serious so I, that could be part of my team. That's what I'm realistic I'm looking for. We're a community. I'm not here to teach you and say, here's 800 videos and go figure it out on your own and watch the Fausto Nachi indicator. No, I am here because if I could teach you how to be a $100,000 trader, I'll probably make 10, 20,000 just on your call outs. But I don't know if you're really qualified yet. So the only way you need to see that, if this is for you or not. And then guess what? If you register right now, the first 20 people that register right now, I will personally give you a free coaching class. And listen, I want to talk to you guys. If you're serious, okay, then I'm serious to make money too. 
And if you want to know why we've been in business for 25 years, then take a shot at it. And guess what? After the seven days, if you want your money, $9, listen, God bless you. You can keep it. I don't need your $9. Trust me. I'm not getting rich. I'm not getting, you know, I'm not making any money off it. I end up, I'm losing a lot of money. The $9 is just there to prove that you're a real person. Okay. So, um, any questions by, by, by any chance? Oh, a couple of people here registered already. <laughs> you guys are pretty quick. All right. Um, let me see. I got Debbie from, um, uh, Iowa, welcome to the team. Just got your registration. Mike from uh, San Antonio, Texas, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Bill from uh, Los Angeles, got your registration. Uh, Carlton, I have paid the $9 already. Well, Carlton, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. Hopefully, you're having a good time in there. All right. Unbelievable. Totally different, right? When you're seeing, here you are seeing a screenshot. I know it's easy to explain it, but when you're in the trading room, it's, it, it, it's, it's pretty intense. How much money do you need to trade an account with? KW, I mean, I don't know. We, 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 we traded a stock just the other day. It was $3. Okay. It, it went it went from three to six. You bought a thousand shares. What do you need? $3,000 in buying power? You know, that's a misconception that people make. That's another thing that people think. They're like, ooh, you can only trade Tesla. You know, ooh, ooh you can only trade, you know, uh, Facebook. And, you know, oh, I can't afford Facebook, so I'll trade the options. That's where that comes into play. All right. Any other questions? A couple other people just registering. Um, John from uh, Iowa. Just got your registration. Lance from Connecticut. Thanks aboard. Any other questions, guys? Listen, $9. What do you have to lose? Okay. Forget about the $15 to buy the level three. Why don't I just show you how it works for us first before you get tied up in a, a subscription and then go from there. Okay, Alan, great question. We like you to start on Monday. So what's going to happen is when you start, um, you're going to talk to an education advisor. He's going to show you a couple of videos. You're going to get you're going to get a couple uh, uh, videos to tell you how the lingo is and how level three works and what we do in the trading room. Just give you you know just get you up to speed so you're not going in there trading blind. And then on Monday morning we start really early because most of the money is made in pre market and you go from there. You know and then you know by hopefully by Thursday and Friday you'll know if trading's for you or not. But at least you find out the real truth. Will it work if you live in the UK at, at a different time? Gary, let me tell you something. I have people from Singapore, Australia, that are in this room here at Cybertrain University, all over the world. And you know why a lot of people like to trade the U.S. market? It's got the most liquidity. It's got the. It's got the. Uh, it's very easy to read. It's been around forever. You know, just because you're from a different country doesn't mean I have to trade forex. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I didn't know I could trade those markets. Listen. As long as you can speak the language, that's all that matters. At the end of the day, you're here for one reason, one reason only, and that's to make money. That's it. I came aboard now. I have paid an annual fee. Can I still get the session from you? Mac, once again, just talk to one of the education advisors. They'll take care of it. Okay? Listen, and, and to answer Mac's question you know, in detail for everybody else, sometimes it takes a few times. You know, we have I have students – Few, like Faust, I saw you three years ago. I wish I took my class then. I, I was stupid then. It's okay. We're still going to be here. Listen, there's no pressure. You know, if you want to do this, do it. If you don't want to do it, listen, we're not chasing you down. Okay. We're not here like a debt consolidation company and say, hey, you know, want to lower your interest rate. We, we don't, listen, if you don't want to be part of us, that's okay. It's fine. We don't, we don't need the money. Okay. Um, I'm like I told you, I'm looking for people that could be part of my team, you know, and after evaluating you and seeing what your qualifications are, we're going to tell you if it's for you or not. Would you want someone to be honest with you other than trying to push a product on you and say, hey, you know what? Buy my newsletter and that. Just listen, think for yourself. But let me tell you, it's not for everybody. And that is OK. That's all right. But find out the real truth before you make that harsh decision. Um, Couple other people I just want to hear. Welcome to the team. Uh, Bradford from uh, North Carolina, you just got your registration. Wiener from Utah, welcome aboard. Got your registration. Ken Tucker 
from uh, Missouri just got your registration. So guys, listen, I know a lot of you guys are not going to probably register and you want to just listen. What was this all about and stuff like that? And I get it. I understand. You know, listen, stop everybody. But just please take this in consideration. If you move forward, Cyber Trade University, trust me, whatever you saw today, you haven't seen nothing. OK, but if you're still looking around, listen, just remember, guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get education. OK, um, you will probably down the road if you really want to you know, take it to that next level. But um, but listen, it's very hard to do things on your own. You need a mentor. OK, and you might need more than one. So go out there, do your research on the people, make sure they're endorsed by brokerage firms, you know, so that obviously they because they've done their homework with their compliance department and just sample a couple of things, you know, but don't go out there and try to trade and say, you know what? Because I, I had somebody give me a lame excuse the other day. You know, I, I, I felt bad. I'm like, I said, dude, you're going to lose all your money. He's like, you know, I like the class. I, I want to try if I make money. You know, then I'll join. The, I'll try the trial. I'm like, wait a minute, seriously? I'm like, so you you're like, let, let, let's let me get this straight. It's like I'm a doctor, and you're like, I want to I want to practice on people and do brain surgery, and uh, when I'm when I if I like it, then I'll go to med school. Yeah, that's the guy I want to work from. You know, work on my brain, right? So guys, don't be ignorant. It's not that much money. Take a shot, see what the real truth is, and go from there. Then you, and then you go from there. And then because I'm telling you, a lot of people that join the nine dollar trial, more than half of them realize they're like, you know what? I was so gun ho. I was going to quit my job. I was going to do this. I heard some great things about it. I realized it's not for me. And like I said, that's OK. A couple of the people here um, that registered want to welcome to the team. Um, Mark from. From Brooklyn, New York. All right. Right around the corner from me. Welcome aboard. ZJ from New Jersey, another local boy, not too far. We're here in Long Island. Uh, Kenneth from Texas, Houston, Texas. I used to have a radio show in Houston, Texas. Actually, um, I don't want to mention any names. It was one of the head coaches, uh, one of your colleges was one of my students. He's in my room. Uh, Leonard, uh, Leonard from Singapore. There you go. See, there we go. They, we do it. When you thought the UK was far, I was, wasn't joking when I said somebody was from Singapore. Who else we got? Chang Yang from uh, Rejo, uh, New York, another local guy. And uh, Eric from Louisiana, just got your registration. So, guys, um, once again, regarding about the trading room, just remember something. This is a professional trading room, okay? When you go in this room, it's not a teaching room, it's a trading room. You're going to see hundreds of traders trading for themselves. And you need to watch and see what they do. OK, just watch. We, we have we have three words that we tell everybody. Look, listen and learn. OK, that's the three things you got to do. You got to prove to yourself and see if it's for you or not. And then what happens afterwards um, when you start watching some classes, when you give you a couple of workshops and so on, we just want you to make sure you make the right decision for yourself. All right. Because, like I said, you don't want to be what 99 percent of the people are in this world and which are self-taught. 99% of them, one and and one percent of them actually get educated. So you want to, you don't want to be part of that 99% of the failure rate out there. All right. So as you guys are filling it in, I you know I can't even keep up with them. So um, listen, uh, you got the link, you got the information. You want to learn about level three. You want to learn the real truth about day trading. You want to learn if this is something that you know, if this is something that you could afford to do. Take the nine dollars. After a week, you're not happy. I'll give you money back. All right, guys. Doesn't affect me. But uh, like I told you, I'm just looking for real traders, and and I'm also here to teach everybody to make sure that trading's for you or not before you blow up your account. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy. Uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, to thank the staff CTU for making this possible. Appreciate it, guys. Happy trading, everyone.